So today I'm talking about a P0096 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a P0096 code? Well, it's the Intake Air Temperature Sensor 2 Circuit Range Performance. So what does this mean? Well, basically, there's what's called an intake air temperature sensor or IAT sensor that's just reporting back to the computer what the temperature of the air that's going into the engine is. And the computer uses this information to help adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders because cold air is more denser than hot air, and that requires a little bit more fuel to fine tune the engine and keep it running very well. But when you get this P0096 code, the computer's seeing a problem with this sensor, and so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And one thing to note about these intake air temperature sensors is that they can't be combined with other sensors. They could be on their own. There could be multiple IAT sensors and things like this. So if you do go to work on your vehicle, it's a good idea to go get a diagram where all these sensors are located and what's going on because it's really going to vary. It's going to depend on the make, the model, the year. But basically keep in mind that these sensors can be by themselves or built in with the other sensors. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0096 code? Well, the first thing that could cause is that that intake air temperature sensor 2, that it's just gone bad, it just needs to be replaced. These IAT sensors, they can't be tested. If you have a multimeter, you can't go and test them. And basically, these intake air temperature sensors are what's called a thermistor, which is a resistor whose resistance changes with the temperature. And so you can use a multimeter, you can set it to ohms, you can check to see what the resistance is. And then you can use like a hot hair dryer or something like that to heat it up and check to see if the resistance values change. You can also look up what the rated values are supposed to be for that sensor at a set temperature and then check to see if they match that. And that'll tell you whether or not it's good or not. So you can't go and test these sensors. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad intake air temperature sensor number two. And the next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the sensor. Basically, if there's any kind of open, short, bad connection, blowing fuse, anything like this, then that's going to cause issues. So you can't go and get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle and check the wiring to be sure it's good. It is very common for these to be getting 5 volts going to them. And then as they go through that thermistor and the resistance values changes, the voltage coming out the other side is going to change. This is going to go back to the computer, which can read this voltage change and do its calculations and know what the temperature is. So you can go and check that sensor, be sure you're getting voltage to it. You could check and be sure you're getting voltage out the other side. And you could check the voltage going back to the computer. But the last thing that's going to cause this is that there's some kind of wiring issue. Oh, and so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0096 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.